Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Kleindl, and I'm with Dr. Otto Stein, and we're here today to talk about another kind of sewage treatment facility. What's this system? So this is a slow raid infiltration system, essentially is what it's called, and there's two components to this uh, that we can see at this location right here. So essentially the wastewater... Wait, this is not connected into Bridger? This is not connected Bridger to Bridger well. at all. This is related yeah. to the, uh, I think it's called the Bridger Pine subdivision. Some subdivision that's in those yeah, trees. In those okay. trees back there. And so each individual building up there, I believe has its own individual septic tank system. And then the effluent from that, once the solids have dropped out, then comes in here and mixes with the snow melt that's come in from the, from the winter. And then from the pond, it then goes to the irrigation system in the back there, which is then designed on an annual basis to make sure all the water gets uh, added to the soil rather than staying in the pond. Right now, we're in spring, right? So the water's probably at about its maximum level, and by August, then that pond should be dry. So this fills up with effluent from the subdivision plus snow melt, right? Because right. we're in a ski resort, so there's lots of snow here. Yeah. And that tank is designed to hold both of those things. Oh, yeah, exactly. And then the water, the, over the summer, it goes down to zero, so it can be restored in the winter. Right. Now, the they, summer, they may gets... deliberately try to leave a certain amount of water in the bottom, so there's a, like a dead zone in there, yeah. a dead storage zone yeah. in there. But yeah, in general, you manage it so that the water level is at a minimum in the end of the summer irrigation right. season and at a maximum right about now. Because we can't irrigate in the winter. Exactly. It would yeah. just roll, run off. Yeah, and there'd be, and there'd the be six feet of up. snow over there, too. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. And the reason why we're not just treating this like other sewage treatment facilities and dropping it in the stream is why? Oh, because they don't have a permit to discharge to a natural water body. So the way the laws are written in Montana is that it's a separate permit for ground discharge than it would be to direct to water body discharge. Easier to get. Much easier, ground. much easier to get. Well, that. places like Livingston and Bozeman and other small cities have direct discharge permits. Mostly because they were grandfathered in before the laws were changed in the 90s. Gotcha. Yeah. But some cities that are growing really fast, like Big Sky. So they do not have a discharge permit to discharge to the Gallatin River. And they have a similar system. They have, well, this on steroids for sure. Yeah. It's much, much bigger than this. But this essentially, the basic idea is the same thing. And they're irrigating their effluent into the golf course? Yeah, all, all, every golf course snow, up there snow. is primarily a wastewater discharge And making location. snow. And now the, their capacity exceeds their ability to infiltrate the water, so now they're looking for alternatives, and one of those would be snowmaking. I mean, there would be E. coli problems. Is there E. coli well, in this field? Well, there's two different things. So the, the Big Sky system goes through a modern wastewater treatment plant and has disinfection before it ever gets to the ponds. I, I can't tell you for sure of whether this system, whether there's a disinfection system first. My guess is not, but I don't know that. Don't eat the fish in this pond. Don't eat the snow in that field. Yes. Let, can we talk a little bit about the, the, the dinkus dinghy? Oh, yeah. I think there's a whole, probably uh, a whole career that can be built on dukes, dookie dinghies. Uh, think about that. Uh, well, you want to take a tour? Clearly, this is a uh, this is the pump. Right? That's yes. Well, the pump I'm betting is in the building here, but that would oh, it's be the receiver of some kind. Yeah, that would, my guess is that that pontoon would go out there and float, and they drop a snorkel down yeah. in there, and that's when they, when they're ready to start irrigating. Then it'll pump out. Of, the pump will go in there, and it'll run it to the irrigation system, and then that thing will turn and. The idea is you get rid of the water slowly. The work gets done. And this is the Dukas dinghy behind you. Yes. The Crestliner. Okay. Is this better than the other one you saw? Oh my God, so much better. Ah, yeah. see? Yep. Newer version, yeah. Quality system. <laughs> All right. Thanks.